Hi, this is Miss Jess from the Paquanic Library, and we have been doing something called the Lego Club Challenge, where we have different bags of Legos and a little challenge on them, and then you can come and pick them up. It's one bag per family, and then after you complete the challenge, you send us a picture of what you created, and we post it up online. So this is actually our third bag. I'm very excited. It's make a tic-tac-toe board. So I'm going to tilt the camera down here and show you how it works. All right, so got my bag. Very gently dump this out because we have some little beads in here. These are gonna be like your X's and O's. So I'm gonna put those off to the side. So you can use uh, paper clips if you wanna make little X's or pennies and nickels. Um, or you can even cut out X's and O's from a piece of paper but we're just giving you some different colored beads in case, just to get you started. So it's like a tic-tac-toe shape. So I'm going to just kind of start out and see what I can do here. This one's a little challenging. So I kind of get like the general idea here that we want oh, two lines going this way and then two lines going that way. Gonna make these kind of even. Okay, so those two are even. And then we have to go across. Hmm. What if. Oh, this is tricky. Let's see. Okay, what if I put this like this? Okay, this is working. There's one line across. And then. You can do this any way you want, but this looks like this is working for me. All right, and then kind of put this on here to get them to stay together. Because you don't want your tic tac toe board coming apart while you're playing. All right, good. Let's see if I can connect these two. What else is still loose? Oh, that one. All right. This one. I'm pretty much just putting Legos on top of the other Legos to kind of keep them together for when I play. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to need these two to connect. <laughs> it's like a brain teaser. Okay, and then if I use this one, I can connect those. Okay, so we're a little loose over here. So I'm going to use this one. Oops. Let's use, hmm, I'm gonna take this one off. And I'm going to put these on here. All right, that works. Okay, and then all I've got left is this is a little loose. It's not really bad, but let's see if I can kind of stick those on like that. And a couple extra pieces. I just put those wherever I want. There we are. And there. All right. We've got our little tic tac toe board. You see that? So then one person would go and they could put their little piece in the middle there. And the next person. And you know how to play tic-tac-toe. You take turns and you have to get three in a row. So, uh-oh, watch out. The green's got to block me there. But then where am I going to go to block the green? There. And then the green's going to go here to block me. And then I'm going to go here. And the green's going to block me here. And then, oh, looks like I tied myself. <laughs> All right, so that's the tic-tac-toe challenge. You can come and get your grab bag in the lobby. And now I'm gonna read a little quick book that kind of like ties in with this game theme. Bad Kitty does not like video games. Yes, I do. Kitty loves this video game. This is her favorite video game. 
It's about a bunny who jumps over fences and grabs carrots. Boing, boing, boing. Beep, beep, beep. Kitty has been playing this game for five hours. Boing, boing, beep, beep. Stop playing this game, Kitty. You have to do something else. If you play outside, draw a picture, and read a book, then you can play your video game again. Does Kitty look happy about that or angry? It's angry, angry Kitty. No, Kitty, you have to play outside first. <laughs> You're trying to be a little sneaky. Kitty does not want to play outside. Kitty wants to play her video game. Mm, she says. Now that she's outside, Kitty pretends she is a bunny. Kitty is very good at jumping. She's pretending to be a bunny like she was in her video game. Jump, jump, jump. Kitty pretends the leaves are carrots. Kitty is very good at grabbing. Grab, grab, grab. Good using her imagination. Jump, grab, jump, grab, jump, grab, jump, grab, jump, grab, jump, grab. That was fun. And she also looks a little tired. Now Kitty wants to play her video game. No, Kitty, you have to draw a picture first. Kitty does not want to draw a picture. Kitty wants to play her video game. Gimme, gimme, gimme. She's got an angry tail. First, Kitty draws a picture of a bunny grabbing carrots, just like in her video game, and just like when she was outside pretending to be a bunny. What a nice picture there. But then, Kitty draws a monster bunny grabbing monster carrots. Rawr. And look at that, a monster son. Rawr. That is a good drawing. Now Kitty wants to play her video game. No, Kitty, you have to read a book first. Kitty does not want to read a book. She wants to play her video game. The book is about a bunny who sneaks into a garden to grab carrots. She's just reading her book. Oh no, there's a farmer. The farmer chases the bunny. See her little tail? She's getting really excited. She's getting really into that book. That was an exciting book. You played outside. You drew a picture. You read a book. Now you can play your game again, Kitty. Do you think Kitty will be happy about that? Let's see. Kitty thinks about it. She's thinking about what she wants to do. Kitty does not like video games. <gasps> Looks like Kitty decided to go back outside and do some more coloring and to read a little book. It's called The Tale of Peter Rabbit. So, you can really like your video games, but sometimes you need to take a break. Go outside, read a book, do some arts and crafts, or grab some Legos and make your own game like our tic-tac-toe board. Hope you enjoyed that story, and I will see you guys soon.